So, hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Now, this video is not usually what I record or the usual type of content that I make. The, today, I will be making a tutorial. But before I begin the very thing, I want to appreciate all the support of you guys. Thank you so much for 1.5 thousand subs. Rocky numbers, but hey, I got them. I got myself a new mic, I got myself a new head, some, a new headset, some LED lights, as you may have seen on my YouTube posts, new setup, looks cool, looks fresh, but that's besides the point of the video. Now, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how you can make your own sound font with the chromatic scale. This is not a YouTube tutorial on how to make your own chromatic scale. I don't do those, I have, I didn't know how to make them, but... I was in a <laughs> empty Discord call, my bad. But I have no experience, or at least bad experience, making them, and they just overly sound bad. Now, let's go to the main topic of the video. What you need is... First of all, you need FL Studio. Now, you can use a trial version. It will work perfectly fine, because all you need is Slicex. If I find it, of course. Yeah, yeah, Slicex. So you see, all you need in FL Studio is Slicex. That's all. You also need is Polyphone. Just download it and you're good, basically good to go. Just use the version you want. Use the installer instead of the sources. You're not gonna do any type of that stuff. And, oh, sorry. And you also need a chromatic scale. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Sheep's chromatic scale. Oh, fuck. Because why not, you know? because I'm just gonna use Sheep's Chromatic Scale right here. Now, what you do is you open up FL Studio, you go to SliceX, and you drag and drop your Chromatic Scale into SliceX. Right? Simple as that, for now. Now, next up, you press on this, you right click on this thingy, whatever it's called, and you press Dull Auto Slicing. Now, as soon as you do this, you gotta keep in mind that sometimes it will falsely detect some keys, so you have to manually get rid of them by right-clicking on the marker and deleting it. It seems like everything seems to be fine in this chromatic scale. Yeah, it is. After you got this, make sure everything's correct, and as soon as you have it, what I do is I press on this button, I will rename. Uh, Thank you for interrupting me, Sheep. I will rename every single marker just to one until what it, what the last marker is. I'm just gonna quickly uh, down the volume because else we have to listen to that long and deep. No offense to Sheep, I'm just. Load a um, export regions for sampler use, right? Go here, go to your um, documents, make a folder. I made a folder for my FL Studio exports for like all the chromatic scales. Now I'm gonna make a new folder called Sheep because yes. And I'm gonna rename, uh, rename just change the file name to nothing.wav. Just take off what's before the, this part, right? And save it. If you've done it correctly, and go over to your exports folder, it should look like this. No marker, whatever, right? Unless you did something wrong, of course. If you did, just delete all of those, go back to SliceX, 
ch rename all the markers and try to export again without the, as I said, without the name, right? I'm going to fix this 191 to 19. Now, after we install Polyphone, you just, of course, have to run it. This is Polyphone simple, but yeah. Press on new sound font. Add a title, I'm just going to call it cheap because I'm lazy. And press on this weird sound wave thing. Press it. Um, find your folder where you save your... Uh, I don't know what it's called anymore. Just where you saved your um, stems or... Yeah, well, whatever. Just where you saved your thingies. They should have all selected. Oh, what the... You should have all of them selected, right? Now, what you do is you press on this volume button to make an instrument. Just gonna call it cheap again. Now comes the once again annoying part. Um, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna change any of these. You can, you can add a little bit of reverb, chorus, whatever. I'm not gonna do it because cheap's voice is good how it is. But what you have to do is actually you have to set the key range of each single note. What I like to do for the first two notes is I'm going to put the 0-60 because 60 is the sam sample root key. Oh yeah, it's called samples. So for the first two, you put this. And why the first two, you may ask? Well, as you can see, this is the sample for the left, left ear and for the right ear because they are all stereo. And starting from the second sample, you just continue with 61, just corresponding the sample root key without the dash. Um, what I like to do is I type in and then I press tab so it moves to the next tab so That makes sense and I just do this and repeat Just make sure that you don't mess up and always make sure to double check if it corresponds with the Sample root key. Don't be a dummy like me who keeps messing up. No, I don't. Wait. I bet. What the fuck happened? Oh, never mind. They're all set. My bad. Um, all right, I'm going to continue with 67 or 76. I'm really trying to focus hard right here. Wait, what? I can barely read that. Six. Wow. Ninety-six. Yeah. Oh, that's so hard to read. Oh, it's 75, yeah, because they messed it up, 75. Now, this should all be correct. It just looks jumbled up and messed up because I messed something up, of course. Um, now, on your last two samples, I would I recommend on doing this again, on adding the 127. What this basically does, it, the last note is basically pitched up for every single key left without any samples. So you have basically a huge sound font. So you don't need like all eight octaves or whatever. You just have them all set in by one tone. Um, as soon as you have that, you press on this note, you add the new preset, you save it, wherever you want, and boom, you have made your own sound font. Now let's just test it out on LMMS because that's what I use. Yeah. So I'm just going to simply replace myself right here. I'm just going to copy. Too lazy. I'm going to open up the sound font. Sheep.sf2. Uh, uh, uh. 
then Am I? Oh, I had it muted. My bad. My bad. Alright, so. There you go. You have made yourself your own sound fund out of the chromatic scale. And this is basically it. That's easy, in my opinion. It's like really simple, nothing too complex. And you can be proud of yourself because you finally did something. Which I don't usually do a lot. <laughs> Jokes aside, um, it's really not that hard. You can use, as I, say, as I said, the trial version of FL Studio. It should work. Eh, at least it does. It, it, of course it does. But um, yeah, this is basically the tutorial. Nothing too complex. So yeah, have fun. Do your music. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll guess I'll see you guys next time.